If you are a regular at Wawa, check your credit card and your bank statements. The company's CEO just announced a massive data breach that could affect a countless number of customers. And on your side, Chip Osowski joins us now live from the Wawa store on US 19 in Clearwater. And Chip, do we have any sense of how many stores we're talking about here? A lot, Keith and Jen. This is a copy of the letter that was posted on the Wawa website explaining what happened. The breach went on from March 4th, 2019 to December 10th when employees discovered it. It wasn't shut down for another two days just a week ago today, and it could involve every single store. Wow, that's new news to me. Customers like Mike McLaughlin are concerned. Obviously, when I come here, I use my credit card a lot. And uh, what are my concerns? Uh, Somebody has your information. Yeah. Wawa CEO Chris Gaysons issued a statement saying in part, quote, I'm very sorry to share with you that Wawa has experienced a data security incident. Our information security team discovered malware on Wawa payment processing servers on December 10th, 2019, and contained it by December 12th, 2019. Further investigation revealed malware had been running on store payment processing systems beginning back in March. So for nine months, these hackers may have had access to your information. Scary. I pump gas here all the time, so I'll be feeling kind of, you know, weird if something did happen to my, uh, to my card information. So you kind of trust Wawa knowing that they like a bigger company. That's kind of weird. I mean, it makes me a little nervous to use my card at the pump. Are you going to check yeah. your credit card now? Debit card? It's my debit card, but yes, definitely. It's too early to predict the fallout from this breach, but one customer we spoke with says this may be her last trip here. And I don't come here that often. Um, I just got a car, actually. Um, so now I don't want to come here. The chain is also offering credit monitoring services for customers at no cost. For more information on that or to read the CEO's entire letter, you can log on to WFLA.com or check out the story on the WFLA app. Reporting live in Clearwater, I'm Chip Osowski, 8 on your side.